Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Lyke Mugai. And I'm Dion Gandhi. Today is April 13th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Next week, between April 17th to April 21st, juniors will be participating in CAS testing. CAS testing will be taken right after first period, between 9.35 a.m. to 11.50 a.m. Seniors, if you apply to CRC, there will be an orientation at COHS on April 28th during second period or fifth period. In order to attend the orientation, you must complete a Google form sent into your student view email. If you have any questions, please go to the Career Center or see your counselor for more questions. Today, the third parent university will take place from 5.30 to 6 p.m. and include next step plans for both juniors and seniors going to college. Now let's pass it on over to Darren and Damon for In the News. Good morning, I'm Darren Francis. I'm Damon Ramos, and we're here with your In the News update. Both lawmakers that were expelled from Tennessee's House of Representatives last Thursday, Justin J. Pearson and Justin Jones, have both been reinstated in their seats as of yesterday. The two were originally re removed of the House for leading a protest from the House floor calling for gun law reforms. Jones was reappointed to his seat on Monday, while Pearson was just reinstated yesterday by a 7-0 vote by the Shelby County Board of Commissioners. Before being reinstated, the three Democratic lawmakers who were the heads of the reform protest led a march to reappoint Pearson from the National Civil Rights Museum in Memphis to the Shelby County Commission building, seemingly succeeding. This Monday, five people died when an employee opened fire at a bank in Louisville, Kentucky. The victims were aged between 40 and 64, and among the injured was a rookie police officer who had just, gradu gra who had just graduated to the force two weeks ago. The officer was shot in the head and is still critical after a brain surgery. Police responded within three minutes and fatally shot the attacker in an exchange of gunfire. The gun used by the shooter under Kentucky law will one day be back on the streets. Because confiscated guns are required to be turned over to the state, who in turn is required to auction off those weapons? Well, that's all the news we have for you this week, Wolfpack. I'm Darren Francis. And I'm Damon Ramos. Back, back to, to your anchors. anchors. Thanks, guys. On March 27th, there was a school shooting at the Covenant School in Nashville, Tennessee, where six people were killed, adding to the total of over 140 mass shootings so far this year. After protests for gun control and safety in the Tennessee homes, the same protests where two representatives were expelled from their state Congress. Students organized a national walkout last Wednesday, April 5th, and students at our school were among many nat nationwide who participated. Let's see how it went. very upset about the way that Congress has treated, you know, such an important safety issue, honestly. And I feel like a lot of people, I mean, there have been over 220 mass shootings this year. And it's just reached a point where, you know, it's just gun violence is so oversaturated in the media that no one really, the impact is not there. Like, no one really thinks about it. It's like, oh, another shooting. And I have friends on, like, college campuses that have experienced, you know, gun violence threats. And I remember the fear of, it was, it was bad. We have the power! have a voice at school uh, because what is affecting the nation right now is very personal to y'all and you need to be able to come to school and feel safe. You just want to skip class? I'm still thank you, but you guys need to realize that this does affect us too. Last year, in third, for me, third period, we had an we had a, a active shooter and all of you guys were scared then. So I thank you guys for coming today, even though you might not realize that it affects you, it does affect you. And next time, it could be you, it could be me. Why, why not end it now? We need to let this let it.
If you're interested in seeing more of the walkout and interviews, please visit our second YouTube channel, Wolfpack TV 2. The longer edition of this video has an estimated runtime of 10 minutes and is expected to be released in the coming weeks. And as a reminder from administration that participation in the walkout is not an excuse absence due to the departure not being school related. Well, that's all the time we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Dino Gandhi. And I'm Alaika Mugai. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have, have a great, great day, day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.